It's again short now. At 3.07 p.m. Eastern Standard, E-mini, your contract month being traded. And I have several targets to the downside at 1903.25, 1901.75, um, 1899.50, and that's as far as we'll go right now. What we needed to see happen here, people, was finally the chicken money flow secondary trend line violation come in here to give us the signal that we were waiting for. That was the reason for the hold up earlier and the retracement to the upside. This is a much higher probability of following through now. And we'll let it play itself out. It's either going to go or it's not. And if it doesn't, then so be it. So the preferred in was changed in real time as the prices move down to, look at how they have fallen so fast now, to, to right here. And that price number was 1904.25. There was no time to update this because I had to get into the trade. And I called it. So now we we'll readjust at 1904.25. And you have serious targets to the downside to, to play this out. Target hit. 1903.25 after 1904.25. When I called it, if you were in right there, you're good. Um, let's let this play itself out, people. The probe down here suggests that prices should continue to fall to the downside. We're already through 1903.25. We're looking at 1901.75, right? And 1899.50. And Jeff Killian, a chief market strategist for the Inside Technicians Live Trading Room. Trading once again in real time. Yes, near contract month, September 2014, 190275 here. Hit 15 minute chart, looking for the secondary trend line violation here now on the MFI. For the additional confirmation, let's get that into another screen, right back to the one minute chart. And there we are, holding here, holding. Now, if these prices start to trade up and we don't get the Trend line violation on the downside from the MFI. This could be a glorified shakeup to the downside, where right now it appears that we are still good to stay short. Nineteen oh four twenty five. Preferred in getting hit and exceeded by a quarter, another half a point. Uh, an additional take, excuse me, I'll be out of this trade due to a glorified shakeout. I'd like to get back in. Right now, if nineteen oh four seventy five, worst case scenario it can be held. Prices I mean, we had the confirmation of the money flows. They should be trading down. Prices hold at 904. 1904.75, we should be good.
1903-75. Holding. 1904. We need another five, six thousand contracts traded short. Start pushing these prices down. Chicken is retraced up, touching the trend line again. Once again, increased volume can push these prices to the downside. Here you go, come on. Come on, you can't tell me that you don't want to. You know you want to. You know you, here we go. Okay, come on. Give me 10. Give me 10. There you go. That's it. 1902.75. Good profit in 1904.25. Yeah. Nice profit. 1902.50. 1902.25, here we go, come on. Fifty-eight ninety-one. Looking for the target of 1901.75, people. 1901.75, you can take that off the board quick. Short-term MFI is up, finding its internal support level. You might want to grab that off the board and take it. 1901.75, right? You got it. You can take that. It'll probably get there again. You got 17 seconds left, right? Here you go. Long-term holders, you're clear to remain short. Looking for the follow-through below. You have a probe on a tick down at 1901.75 level and 1901.50. Increased volume, MFI is marginally up at its internal floor level, while the chicken money flow longer term is clear. If the baton, baton is handed off from short to longer term money, then that means the prices will follow through. Nineteen oh one fifty, nineteen oh one twenty five MTM. This is Jeff Killian, Chief Market Strategist for the Inside Technician in partnership with Ninja Trader platform. I'm using this platform in order to analyze and trade what you're seeing in real time right now. Next target to the downside is eighteen ninety nine fifty on a one minute chart. We are now 1901.25 after a 1904.25 entry. Nice profit. I might consider getting out of this right now and taking it. 1901.50, 1901.25, 1901 1901.25, 1901.25, 1901.25, 1901.25, finger on a trigger, 1901.25. <sighs> Nineteen one twenty five MFI is marginally up. Checking is now gone flat. That's it. Nineteen oh one fifty. I got it. Nineteen oh one fifty. If I get a continuation to the downside, I might I might get back in. Nineteen oh one fifty. Wow. Unbelievable. Long-term holders, you're good, but I'm out of this. I didn't like the action. 1519. Whew. Yeah, I know.
long-term holders, you're good. But um, we had both money flows kick back up. MFI held the internal trend line, as you can see here. And now check money flow is marginally up. So this was the reason, the reasoning that I had, that what I was actually thinking at the time that I decided to get out of that trade so fast. Prices are holding. There may be another opportunity, but I was absolutely sure about when the additional volume came in. We had the secondary trend line violation out of Chaikin, and all clear across the board to be short in on this trade at 1904.25 at 15.08 hours and out at Yeah, 19150 it was right here, 1519. I'll probably get another leg out of this. Yeah, 1519 right here. So for me, before I cut this tape, nineteen oh four twenty five. 1901.50, 275, gain on the trade, as you saw in real time, 2.75 point gain times $50 for every full point move, gave me a gain of 137.50 per contract. And since the smart money bias call is located at little seven, and now in real time, actually so close to an eight, it's 137 times I upped it from the minimum of 30 contracts from 20 to 30. It's $4,125 to me. You saw it. It happened. We're looking to get back in again. I'm going to cut the tape right now and let this serve as another example of just how powerful this methodology really is. And by going through the system here, through uh, our mentorship program and through the confirmations that you'll get from the real-time trading room, it is possible. It is very possible, as you can see, to outperform the market averages by a wide margin. Okay, the mic is open, Alex. How are you this afternoon? I have your audio as Good, but I can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I've got you, I've got you. How you doing? Excellent, good, good, how are you? I'm good, I'm recording this. Is this okay with you? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Well, I just wanted to uh, introduce you for a minute here. Alex is the latest person who's come through and is studying personally with me in the executive mentorship program. And he's only in session three, so, I'm not going to throw anything out there. I'm just going to let him talk a little bit about what he's going through, what he identified with today, and what it's like, you know, um, coming through the system here. Fire away. Um, I, I can contest that uh, being in the mentor program and uh, following Jeff for the past few months, uh, my, my trading has um, increased quite well, leaps and bounds. I'm, I'm As, as they're laid out. Um, for instance, this trade just recently, I got in at 1904 and wrote it down to um, 1902.25 for 0.75 gain. Um, and that was done in confidence. Uh, I mean, the, this, this uh, Jeff is remarkable. The stuff he's taught me is remarkable. And, and even in my third day in, um, you know, I've learned so much and looking forward to the rest of the mentor program. How many times have you seen me call profitable trades in this live trading room and they've followed through? Uh, I'd say about 99% of the time. Okay. There it is from someone else. 
Um, I believe that, I believe this man has everything that he needs inside his head, everything that he needs uh, within his capacity to follow through with us and become one of the best traders. And I'm looking forward to the outcome. I don't know if I am as much as he is, but I am, I am definitely looking forward to the outcome of this because uh, he's picked up everything so fast that I'm, I'm real impressed. And so thanks for signing in and, you know, talking about a few things. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff. All right. I'll be seeing you Monday. Definitely. Okay. Thank you.